Hi, I'm Chris Munchler, Principal Enterprise Architect and VCDX257 from VirtualElephant.com. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we, as engineering leaders, must come to terms with the implications of executing a successful cloud transformation. It has become both urgent and inevitable that we execute these cloud transformations as smoothly as possible in order to survive as a business in 2024 and beyond. There exists a massive gap between the strategic intent and the ability to act within our organizations. And the pace of the changes within the technology landscape, especially given the emergence of Gen AI over the last 18 or so months, has only exasperated and overwhelmed our organizations as they strive to pivot based on these new market trends. As a result, operational teams are forever playing catch-up and never able to address the systemic problems within the organizations, thus preventing them from being able to build robust and stable platforms for our end users to be able to consume. So how do we, as leaders within our organizations, begin to address these challenges? The first step should be to adopt the cloud operating model as the framework for our cloud transformation. By adopting the cloud operating model, we will allow ourselves to be able to see benefits in the areas of efficiency, scalability, cost management, and risk assessment and mitigation. The benefits of the cloud operating model also include our realization that our traditional siloed operational and design teams need to be combined into cross-functional teams in order to be able to realize long-term success. I've mentioned the importance of these cross-functional teams before in other videos. Part of the challenge most organizations see when adopting cross-functional teams is breaking down the silos and the middle management layers that have been allowed to exist over time as our organizations have either grown organically or through mergers and acquisitions. The reality is, as an engineering leader, we need to be able to make the difficult decisions of flattening our organizations to remove these fiefdoms that have been allowed to exist over time. Ultimately, adopting the cloud operating model as an engineering or IT leader should help you be able to transform your organization to be able to successfully execute a cloud transformation over the next three to five years. As leaders within our organization, we need to understand that this transformation is not going to happen overnight, that difficult decisions are going to have to be made, and that we need to be patient as we work to execute our plan so that we can bring the strategic intent and our ability to act within our organizations together to have long-term success. In the next video, I'm going to cover the cloud operating model in depth and how you as an engineering leader can apply it as a framework within your organizations as you begin to formulate your strategic business objectives and drive transformational change within your organizations. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel Virtual Elephant and leave me a comment below. As always, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Chris Mutchler. I look forward to seeing you next time.